All right, so the sure way uh, to get clients in this space. Uh, this is a, a topic that I, I talk about quite a bit, um, and this is the the biggest factor here with starting your recruiting agency and just you know growing a really good agency. Um, you know, and if you're if you're making placements in this space, you're, you're making twenty, forty thousand dollars for each placement, and you need to make sure that you know you're keeping that that uh, ball rolling there. Um, but you need to get clients that are hiring. Um, and how do you get them? How do you get high quality clients? There's one thing in common with all of these programs and all of these sales professionals that are really good. There, there's one thing that they all have, um, and one thing that they all do. So if we're in a sales room of you know really good sales professionals in the recruiting space, we're all going to be talking about things that are working, things that are not working, different, you know, oh, I've been using this and it's been killing it with certain prospects. And this has been getting me more meetings. Another person will say, and we're trying to build from each other and try to understand what's working. And we could all be inside the same company, literally working under the same infrastructure with all the same tools, with all the same automation, all of that stuff. And we're going to each have a different way of approaching next steps. And you're going to see a lot of programs out there, a lot of strategies, a lot of different avenues of what to use. Different here, you know, use this messaging, use this, use that, and all of them work. If you remember uh, these these things here, is automation versus personalized touch. So if you think about this, companies are going to have marketing departments that will have webinars or give stuff to give away to targets and. We're just going to assume that you don't have a way to generate leads um, from marketing and budgets and stuff like that. So sales leaders, what they're going to understand is you are going to be doing some some basic cold hard sales. Um, they're going to do two things. So they're going to say we're going to we're going to either send out blasts uh, via emails or we're going to have LinkedIn automation, uh, and then we'll have our sales professionals or you just chase those leads down. So you're going to send out the same emails and automation. And a lot of people, what they're not doing is taking those leads, you know, from uh, some that may be lukewarm all the way to hot. You're not following up with those leads or having a process after the fact that shows your value and also understands that it takes a, it takes six to 10 times, sometimes 15, 20 times for you to close a client that's going to be worth it on your end. You need to have that follow up in place. Uh, and then, you know, option number two is they'll just give you a sales list or Zoom info and they'll say, you do the 100 activities. We're not going to email blast. We're not going to do the LinkedIn automation. I'm going to just pay you to do sales all day long. And that that's going to work. It's definitely going to work if you're putting the activity out there and understanding you need to keep following up. You need to have at least 100 activities a day. All the approaches are going to work, but you need to understand the personalized touch aspect of this is what's going to help you win over clients, whether it's calling, whether it's videos, whether it's just adding better stuff to your emails in general. You need to have the person doing that sales work. I know I'm kind of beating a dead horse here, but it's something to think about. Other than that, go check out the free Facebook group. I'm going to go get a workout in. Um, have a good weekend, everybody.